the if-else statement. So branching, also called decision structures, allows your program to execute Java statements based on a Boolean expression or some kind of condition. This is accomplished by using the keywords if and else. For example, you can have the word if followed by an expression in parentheses that can evaluate to either true or false. And then if that expression is true, it'll execute all the statements within the curly braces that immediately follow that expression. If the condition is false, it'll jump to the else block of code and execute the statements within the else curly braces instead. The else part of an if else is optional and the curly braces are only required if there are more than one statement that belongs to either the if or the else. If it's just one statement, then the curly braces are optional. Let's do an example of an if-else statement. So I'm going to create a variable called temperature, int temperature, and let's set that to 75 degrees. So we can do something like if the temperature is less than 60 degrees, we can print out it's cold outside. So if we run the program now without even including any else part, it doesn't do anything because this expression is false. Temperature is not less than 60 because temperature is 75. But if I change the temperature to 55 and ran the program again, it prints out that it's cold outside. And you can add an else saying else and print out something different if the condition is false and print out that it's nice outside. Because the temperature is 55, this condition is true and it prints out that it's cold outside. But if I make it false by making it 85 and run the program again, it prints out that it's nice outside instead. So this is basically all there is to an if-else statement. And if the temperature was exactly 60, what do you think it's going to tell you? Is it that it's cold outside or that it's nice outside? Let's run the program and find out. And it says that it's nice outside because this is looking for temperatures less than 60, which doesn't include 60. If you want it to include 60, you can make it less than or equal to 60 by adding that, that operator right there, the equal sign. And now it's if temperature is less than or equal to 60, it says it's cold outside. And also, if you have more than one statement following an if or an else, you want to make sure that you have curly braces around it. So check this out. System.out.println. It's nice outside. Let's go to the beach. So if this is if this condition is false, meaning that it's 90 degrees and we're ready to go to the beach, it's gonna say it's nice outside, let's go to the beach. Now let's erase these curly braces and watch what happens. I run the program and it looks like it still works it doesn't make any difference but watch what happens when the temperature is now 50 degrees and it's cold outside so we know it's going to print out that it's cold outside because it's true that 50 is less than or equal to 60. So it prints out it's cold outside let's go to the beach doesn't make any sense and that's because without the curly braces after an if or an else only the nearest statement the first statement belongs to the else. And just because this is indented, it doesn't mean it belongs to the else. So if you were to look at the same code like this instead, you would see that this has nothing to do with the if-else. But by simply wrapping all that code in curly braces and properly indenting, now both these statements belong to the else rather than just one of the statements. And now it only says it's cold outside. It doesn't say that we should go to the beach as well. So just to be safe, you should always include the curly braces even if it's just one statement, and that way you won't run into an issue like we just saw.